So today I have another controller review for you. The nice people over at Easy SMX sent me their T39 controller to take a look at. With a current Amazon sale price of just £11 as of the making of this video and a standard price of £22, the T39 has got to be one of the best and cheapest wireless controllers for the Switch, PC and Apple devices running iOS 16 and above. The design and layout of the T39 is much more of a comparison with the Switch Pro controller, made with similar high-quality plastics but at a fraction of the price. Just like its big brother, the X10, the T39 also has Hall Effect sticks, motion controls on the Switch, 3-level turbo and 4-level vibration settings, which you can set via these two face buttons, and an NFC function for your supported Switch games. That is a lot of controller packed into this price point. The T39 comes in three flavours. The one I have is the sky blue, but there is also pure white and geek black. And the T39 weighs in at 325 grams. Of course, being wireless, it uses a 600 milliamp hour battery with a 15 to 21 hour use time, but can also be used plugged in via the USB-C port. So you can charge and play. The T39 comes with one extra button for programmability on the front of the controller instead of the back like the X10. Personally, I prefer the back pedals like we see on their other controllers, but it's a good job Easy SMX have a wide variety of choices. So what's with these Hall Effect sticks that we keep hearing about with the Easy SMX controllers? Well, according to their website, they feature advanced non-contact magnetic sensors. There is no physical damage to the joysticks with a more cost-effective price. The T39 is the most budget switch controller without stick drifting. And I do have to say, it really does feel nice in the hand with the sticks having a slight rubberized feel. One thing I have noticed with the cheaper controllers is the D-pad being harsh on your fingers. And this isn't the case with the T39, with a more premium feeling D-pad for its price range. To quote Easy SMX again, calling it a precision D-pad. Also, during my review, my son Logan spent a good few hours playing Mario Kart and Fortnite so I could get his impressions. He's currently seven years old and he said it was comfortable in his hands. And yes, he's already asked me if he can keep it after giving me his thumbs up. I also think it's a much better controller for the price for younger gamers like Logan, as in my opinion, it's far better for them to accidentally drop an 11 or 20 pound controller than a 50 or 60 pound plus controller. Not that I want them to drop any of them, but you get what I mean. As for the connectivity of the T39, I've already mentioned that it can be used wired via the USB-C cable, but wirelessly it is using Bluetooth. And while it connects to the Switch using the normal method, I connected to my PC using just a cheap generic USB-A Bluetooth receiver. And I had no issues with latency on my PC. I don't, however, own an Apple device, so I couldn't verify this controller running on iOS. Going back to the design, I do quite like the pastel blue color. It looks great on a shelf with your gaming collection, and the fact my son fell in love with it so quickly is a testament to its quality and design as it usually takes Logan ages to choose a controller for his Xbox when he needs a new one. He's pretty picky, and it's gotta be perfect. My only hope, and I'm gonna preface this from my previous X10 review, is that we get some premium feeling Xbox or PS5 compatible controllers for these amazing price points. So again, I will summarize that you get a hell of a lot of controller for the standard price of 22 British pounds, but if you can get it on its sale price, which it is as of the making of this video of 11 British pounds over on Amazon, well, you really can't do any better than that. Easy SMX make a lot of controller and peripheral options, so I'll leave all links to them in the description below, as it is well worth a look if you're in need of a replacement for yourself or a younger gamer like Logan. Let me know your thoughts on the Easy SMX T39 in the comments section below. Are you looking for a reasonably priced alternative to the Switch Pro controller, or just want a nice controller for casual PC gaming? All links can be found in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish to continue to see the content that I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time. <laughs> <laughs>